All right, so today we're talking about module imports without exports. Or in other words, we're looking at imports for side effects or side effect imports. So first of all, what is a side effect? Well, if you're building a pure JavaScript function, you let's say you're building a function that's going to add two numbers together. It's going to create the sum of two numbers. So you pass those two numbers in as parameters to your function. The function then confirms that the two values passed in are both numeric. It does the math to add the two numbers together, and then it returns the result. So that's a pure function. Every time you pass in the same two numbers, you will get the exact same result. And there's nothing that happens within that function that is going to change that or that impacts anything else in your application. A side effect in that function would be if I added code inside that function that would go to the web page, look in the DOM, find an element that has a specific CSS class name, and then write the value of the sum in that piece of HTML. That is a side effect because if I remove that from my function, it doesn't change the result of the function. The function still works absolutely fine. The return value is not impacted whether that code is there or not. So that's a side effect. We can do this with module imports as well. So we're going to take a look here. I've got a basic little page set up. It's got a header. It's all we've got right now. We're loading this JavaScript file as type module because we're going to be dealing with imports and exports or imports anyway. Inside of here right now, I'm not importing anything. So I have this other JavaScript file that I want to import. Now, I have no export here at all. It's just some code that's sitting inside of here. I can, if I want, at the top, say import, and then just give the file name. So footer.js, there's the full name, the location of the file. When I save this, I come back to my web page. I now have a footer. This code is being run. See, if I comment that out, there is no footer here. I come back, I import it. There. So the code is actually being run. The code in that other file has to be run because we're saying import it. To do that, JavaScript, the JavaScript engine has to come over here and say, okay, I've got a new module that I'm supposed to import. I better run the code and find all of the names, all of the elements, all of the different functions, the variables, all those things that could potentially be exported. I have to run that code to get a list of things. So it runs that code and then says, okay, we're going to attach this to here. There's nothing being exported. So there's nothing for me to export. So I can say import Z from here. If there was something called Z, I could import that. I don't have anything to run. There's no functions or anything in here that I'm going to run. It's just that the code is being run. So this is an import for side effects. Another example here, I've got a simple little web component. It's just going to create a div with some text inside of it. I've got a class name. I'm creating that CSS. I'm attaching that CSS to this div and I'm going to append it. And I'm defining it here sorry, I'm appending the div to this element right here, which is going to be called blue box. So if I want to use this back in my main script or back here in my web page, I could do this. I can say, I want the ability to use this in my page. So we're defining a web component here with blue box. That is the new HTML element that we're creating. So inside of here, I'll leave this alone, not adding anything here. I can do this. I can say blue box. There we go. I've created an element. This is the code that's being run because I've done this. I'm importing that. So there it is. I have a blue box on my page. Instead of doing this, so if I comment that out, blue box means nothing. If we look inside of here, there's the blue box element. It's nothing. It's display inline. The browser doesn't know what this thing is. So I want to be able to do this. I want to have a whole bunch of these on my page. In here, instead of the footer, if I said, hey, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to import as a side effect that blue box script. 
I don't have to export anything from here. I don't have to do anything. It's just, I want the code to run. This one line at the bottom, that's the thing that's doing all the work. That's the thing that's saying, this class defines what a blue box element is. So now the browser's aware. So in the web page, because the browser's aware, it's able to render one of these things. And there it is. If I added multiple blue boxes, I would have multiple blue boxes on my page. All right, so that's another import for side effect, where an import without an export. So I've got that. Now, another alternative way of doing this, importing this way, is let's do a set timer for the footer. And I'm going to say in here, I've got a function that I'm going to run, uh, let's say, after four seconds. Inside of here, we're going to use the dynamic import method. So this is a method built in that's on the window object. I'm going to import this footer script. So footer.js, there is the file that I'm going to import. So it's the same as I've done here. This method returns a promise which gives you access to the module itself. We're not exporting anything here, so there is no module, but I can still run the method and it's going to run that code. So I save this, I come back into here, and after the four seconds is up, we should have a footer appear in the bottom. And that's it. That is importing for side effects, importing modules that have no exports. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I answer what I have, whatever I have time for. And as always, thanks for watching.